Okay, boys. Um, we've been working the last couple of days on gear ratio, and um, today we're moving on to compound gears. Okay, so what is a compound gear? Um, I've sketch quick sketch here. Um, a compound gear is what we can see here in this sketch. It is two or more gears of different sizes fixed next to each other on the same axle. Okay, so my axle is here in the diagram, and I have a big gear here with a smaller gear attached onto the front of it, right? Why would I use it? Okay, so we're gonna use those to slow down a motor, not actually to slow down the DC motor, but to make the output of the motor slower. Okay, we wanna slow down that motor and basically create some torque, okay? Why do we want to do that? We want to do that because we we want to lift things like uh, bridges. We want to make a gate move, and those things can't move at the same speed that we'll say our motors can spin at. And um, they might be doing twelve hundred revolutions per minute there. So like that is too quick um, for what we want. We want to slow those things right down. So in order to do that, we can one of the ways we can do that is use a compound gear. Now, in the last, uh, in, the, in the few notes that I gave you, you got a formula for gear ratio. And that formula for gear ratio, one of the ways that I find is easiest is to do the input gear ratio um, would be output gear over input gear. Now, that is, for some of you, will be a little bit, thinking of formulas and things, it's a little bit complicated. But if you follow the process, it's not so bad. Um, so our total gear ratio here, and I have it in a, in a box because it's quite important, is total gear ratio equals input gear ratio multiplied by the output gear ratio. Right? It's, it's as simple as that. Right? We'll just make that a little bit easier to see. Ratio. So in the middle here in my diagram, this is a worked example by the way, I have a compound gear. Now that compound gear is made up of one big gear, and one smaller gear. So it's the same as up here, same thing. So the, the numbers here refer to the amount of teeth or the number of teeth that each gear has. The bigger one here in this case has 30, the smaller one has 10. Over here on the left I have a driver gear that has 10 teeth and on the right I have a driven gear which is 30 teeth and that might be attached to, we'll say, um, I don't know, a bridge. So that's the one that's attached to the bridge and that's going slowly, okay? This one then, of course, is attached to our motor. So if I go back up to my formula, and I want what I want to find out here is the total gear ratio of this, this, whole, this whole gear train. This is called a gear train when there's a few gears connected to each other. So the total gear ratio, I'll start out with the input gear ratio, right? So this is obviously my input because it's coming from the motor. Okay, so the formula, as I said earlier, is output gear, which is 30, over input gear. So 30 over 10 is three, okay, simple maths. Then I move on to my output gear ratio. So my output gear, which is 30, over my input gear. So my output gear here is connected to the small gear, not the big one, connected to the small gear. So the Output is 30 over 10 as well, which is 3. Again, simple maths. My formula up here tells me input gear ratio multiplied by output gear ratio gives me the total gear ratio. So 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. That is the total gear ratio. Now, what does that mean for me, the total gear ratio? Like, that's that's just, it's something new that you've heard, and it's, it's, it sounds like nonsense at the moment. Well, it's actually a really... In, uh, beneficial piece of information because now I know that if this was to spin nine times then my output gear this driven gear over here that will only spin once okay so I suppose you could you could call this a step down from of, of uh, nine is to one or one is to nine okay um, that's how these questions work, right? It's a simple calculation, but you have to follow the process, okay? You have to start with your input gear ratio, 
then work out your output gear ratio two simple calculations let's multiply the two together that gives you your total gear ratio okay so i'm going to go over here and do a question um as an example just move it over there so my question is what is the gear ratio of the gear train shown and the second question then if the driver gear turns at 100 rpm how fast is the driven gear turning okay so we want to make this uh, as useful as possible so we start with input gear ratio and we can see here my driver gear which is the one connected to the motor is 20 and the one it's connected to is 10 okay so these two this one here and this one here those are my input gear ratio so I'm gonna write that there input gears so we'll start over here and we'll write down my formula output gear over input gear so for the first one here my output gear is 10 my input gear is 20 10 over 20 is a half simple okay now I want to do my output gears so this one and this one are my output gears okay so the same formula again output gear over input gear so I'll write that down again output is 10 and the input this time is the bigger gear is 40 which is 1 over 4 again simple math problem okay so we have a half and a quarter now over in this question the first question that we did the total gear ratio was input gear ratio multiplied by output gear ratio so we pull that back across and we'll do the same thing we we'll follow the same program here so that would leave us with a half multiplied by a quarter equals 1 over 8 so 1 by 1 is 1 2 by 4 is 8 okay so my total gear ratio is an 8 now what does that mean for us that means for us that every time this gear does one spin this one does eight okay it's going eight times faster okay so my question that's that's part one number two there if the driver gear this fell here is turning at 100 rpm then how fast is the driven gear turning right it's obviously going eight times faster therefore 100 multiplied by 8 is 800 rpm rpm obviously standing for revolutions per minute okay so what I want from you is to take down this question and answer the two questions so work out the gear ratio for this gear train sorry I forgot to label that that is my driver gear and this one is my driven okay so work out the gear ratio first of all and then answer the question if the input speed is 1200 rpm what is the output speed so if this one is spinning at 1200 rpm how fast is this driven gear turning thanks very much lads